the wind direction is changing and that's why we have to leave because the wind soon starts to come here to our side. And the sea of lava is spilling over. I'm walking back. I don't lose any single minute <laughs> while I'm here. I'm filming non-stop. But this smoke is bad. So much of it. But it's from the moss. This thing is from the moss. Like my clothes will be smelling very bad. This is a moss burning. What are they doing there? I'm making videos from the helicopter. Probably. <coughs> wow, well, now it's a long hike for me. Back to the bike. The biking trail, uh, the first part is not very good, there are so many ropes. So Lava is going to cut the trail very soon. I guess tomorrow we won't be able to walk here. Probably by that mountain in two three days because it's so much lava flowing all the way here. There is Kaler over there. You see Kaler Mountain, and this is Little Ruter, and that is Kistufat Open Mountain. Because it looks like a coffin, you see it has a shape of a coffin, that's why they called it Kistufa. Well, Kista is also a sort of a box in Icelandic. Also. A little uh, ram, this mountain looks like a cage, like a cone, very triangle pyramid. Shape of the mountain, beautiful shape. We will make it to the top there, for sure. In some days, it will be great observation point. Well, we won't make, we won't make it soon to the top because you can always hike the ridge there. So I guess it will be great point to view the volcano. So we got away from the fishers now. They are over there and. I won't come back until tomorrow, maybe. So, we say uh, goodbye for today. Wish you good night, my friends. Still people coming. But there is really a little to do here when you come to the side almost immediately. You don't have to walk up to the craters there. The best part of the show is up there. It was here uh, when I arrived, when lava was flowing, it was kind of nice to film. Lots of things was happening here. But now it's all cooling down.
Icelandic police. Two young policemen. I don't regret I came here, definitely not. I was almost stopped, you know, by rescue team. Teams. One of the rescue girls, she spoke Polish. And she was a kind of stubborn, she wouldn't, she wouldn't let me through. No way. But you see my friends, I found a way to get here. If you wish, you always make it. <laughs> Nina was lucky, she she got through like 15 minutes before they closed the road. I I went through the first uh, closure, like it wasn't closed yet at the parking spot, at the beginning of the trail. I parked like most of it. And then in the middle they stopped me. And then I turned back a little bit. Left my bike behind the mountain, hike it behind the hills there. About one, two kilometers. It's a long time since I did such hikes, extensive hikes. I don't do them that often. Uh, well, not in the past year. So it was kind of difficult for me, you know. For the first time now, after such a break. But very soon we'll get in shape. Now, let's take a look. Uh, well, this uh, bus stop will get flooded, that's what I walk. There is no question about that. All this valley here will get flooded. Lava is just pushing more and more, and he will go down there between mountains, uh, just below Kistufat. It will spill over into that shallow valley that you will see from the drone. So this hill will be viewing, well those mountains here, they will be the viewing points, definitely. This ridge, Kistofat, and Little Hrut, those will be the main viewing spots. Perhaps uh, this uh, ridge, I don't remember its name, but it will be a great spot to view. Also this one won't get flooded soon. Great place to launch drones, you know, over there. Bless to you. Oh. God bless. And this is how it looks from a distance. You see, it's not a single soul here, it's about one o'clock in the night. And uh, I did a lot of nice footage, a lot of work now. But luckily, yesterday was my last day at work, so it kind of coincided with the start of the volcano. So, like, I now I started a new work, like a YouTube work. <laughs> And hopefully it will um, be enough of income from that so that I can live, you know. But if volcano erupts for a long time, I just live from the ads. So click as much as you can on the ads when you <laughs> watch my videos. <laughs> so it will support me or I will provide a Patreon a link which you can sponsor me. So. Um, in the meantime, we will also drive taxi. On, you know, I am driving taxi in the weekends and some evenings, which also generates some um, income. That's how I live. And this is my new work. You see? That's how it looks at night. I have to cross.
across this uh, black lava field there you see that is that this uh, mountain which looks like a pyramid is is called a big ram and that is their uh, little ram now you got the point of two sister mountains big and little ram there are two rams mountains here uh, it's very bright at night in Iceland as you see Nina left her bike here and actually mine is not so much further away so we made it I'm very happy the last view of the volcano now we drive back to the car bike back to the car talk to you later